Hello there, peeps. This is What I Kid of the Aspie Gamer once again, and it's time to continue on with BDD Tour. This time we'll be tackling Old Odd. Hi there, high encoding. It's a minor case. So it looks like an ice level, but then we're suddenly in a canyon. Ah, mixed theme game. Like Sonic Lost World. Do not hit the Waddle Dee train tracks, otherwise you're gonna get screen hit. It doesn't cost a life, but still. You don't want to go splat against the camera. Oh, so there's a drop through platform. Okay. Did not know that. I wonder if there's a sunstone hidden there you And cannon puzzles. Across 3D planes. This one leads to more stars or peace signs. Hey, Sora. Come in. Nope. Nope. I actually don't know how to get over to that side, that lane in this room. I don't know if there's even a way. Since there's breakable blocks over there, I'd assume there's a way, but I don't know how. Yeah, the, the room ends there. Is there something off the left side of the room? I don't know how that caused that much knockback, but sure, why not? Maybe, the, maybe that's where a warp hole is? I don't know. Yeah. And this opens up the path to a Maxim Tomato that we don't need. Oh well. Also, invincibility frames will not save you from the fray. Believe me, I've tried. I don't believe there's anything down here. Nope. Anything up here? Well, there's stairs in the background. Oh, okay, there's swords here for some reason. And yes, you can dive on things in Kirby games and deal damage. I believe you can also land on bosses safely with this. With that tactic. At least, that, it seems to have worked when I tried it in the true arena. No, I mean the normal arena. I'd assume it works in the true arena as such, too. Here you want to be quick and not get hit by the things in the background. Standard Kirby Fair, something's flung from the background into the foreground. Avoid it at all costs. And... Good timing. Good positioning. Wonder how much damage that actually does. The arrow. Yeah! Well, there goes the peace sign. It's not too big a deal. We can get more. Yes, yes, game. I know that I'm in critical health. Hey, Spear Bee. I don't know your actual name, so I'm calling you Spear Bee. Okay, so here, to use the key at its door, you want to be. Peace sign! You have to make a quick jump here, otherwise that the gondola will fall and you will not be able to get the key up. And there's a whole new unexplored plane! Which leads to a one-up. Come to think 
think of it. Can you use that hammer twirl in midair in Super Dreamland? I'm not sure. The hammer twirl can be very useful defensively. To get the drop, to get the no pun intended drop on your knees. I use it a lot in Kirby Fighters. So much that I've basically dubbed it the hammer drop when I use it in midair. And another mid boss. Hey, punkers. Let's see whose hammer is better. Well, I don't have coconuts. We've got that going for you. But I also have the hammer flip, which you have, but it sucks. So the door's over there, but we can go over here for some peace signs. Yay! I realize I haven't been using the hammer for a lot. I just keep forgetting about it. And the fact that I never use it as Kirby because it gets rid of the ability, and I always forget about it as DDD. a bit slower than the dash spin, but it still gives you invincibility frames. I want to say these dark matter enemies are mumbors because of their mummy-like appearance, but I forget about what they're called. So let's get that out of the way. Reveal! A warp hole! And an optional star to get to said warp hole. Yay! Okay! Momentum will not carry you through this game. And now we're in a, some kind of foliage area. Nice boomerang skills there, Kibble. Okay, now you're just showing off. I gotta admit, I really do like the uh, use of the 3D plane in this game. I'm glad it's coming back in terms of the whole lot. I don't know, 2.5D games tend to be my favorite kind of game games. I am excited for the idea of a 3D Kirby game. Very excited. Go away, giant shot so No one wants you here. Except the people who want me to suffer, but I imagine those people aren't watching my videos. Should be arriving at a checkpoint soon. Wow, Rocky has a lot of health. Secret area! With a warp hole! Yeah! That's what we like to see! And with that, we've reached a checkpoint. So after a quick refreshing pause, we'll continue! Alright, back at it! Now 
now we have updrafts that power up our cover ability and lessen gravity. Well, I say power up, but they really just influence it more than power up. Powering up would be giving us infinite air puffs, like the mint seed. Which that does not do. Let's be quick! And somewhat careless, since we can be. I don't know where that leads, but let's continue on quickly before the invincibility runs out. I believe that there's a secret I can find. Oh, I don't even need to worry about my invincibility. Runs out. Secret path! The warp holes tend to be after puzzles or secrets when they appear. When said puzzles or secrets don't contain one-ups. That is, or keychains, or peace signs, or anything of that such. So here, we want to use the gyro controls again, line it up. That should work, I think. There we go. And it's down. And there's a wobble, but just quickly make a U-turn over here. We're going up. Yay! And finally, we're in the icy wonderland. Okay, melt using fire on the ice doesn't do anything. Doesn't melt it to make traction ease traction the lower traction around the right. You can, however, melt these ice blocks. Ow. Oh dear. Hey, D, give me something. Thank you. I'll go ahead and see if there's any food about. Well, we have a mid boss, a fiery mid boss, above ice. Because reasons. Easy. cautious here that you don't plummet to your doom. There's more hidden items here. I wonder if there's a sunstone I... You can probably tell I haven't gotten all the sunstones in this game yet. Otherwise I didn't have... Nah, you need DDD. You need to complete DDD dice deluxe and as well as like all the keychains, so I wouldn't have had to hurry on the title screen yet. It's a race for the key, and this time I shot through. Thank you. A one up. And boss time already. Okay, let's go ahead and use this to heal, and have the Maximum Tomato in reserve. Who could that be? 
Why is Krako? Gone in Return to Dreamland, now back and ready for revenge. And you gotta remember to dodge. That tends to get me a lot when I'm not playing. Krako is very susceptible to the hammer. Given he's an aerial boss. I could just jump over these, but I want to be fancy up. Yeah. That one, I couldn't have done that. So. Hammer flip! Well, hammer twirl in this case. Okay, let's see if I can time this. Nope. Hello. Okay, this is gonna be really stupid, but I can beat him fast if I win this. Yup. You're gonna get hit. If you don't get back at it, and it will hurt a lot. But that's fine, because... Almost dead. What can I say? I'm a bit reckless. I knew I could get away with it. So we got F3D, a burn a burn ability boss in Dreamland 2 and 3. And that's it. Well at least I'm getting so a lot of new keychains while I'm doing this. So with that, thank you very much for watching, I hope you're enjoying the series so far, and I shall see you all next time. Until then, bye ya!